What is up, gang? Hey, Facebook. I wanted to jump on and share with you some of my favorite gifts to give this holiday season. And guess what? Almost all of them are under $10, so that makes it even better. If you're catching this on the replay, my name is Amanda Nybird. I'm a registered dietitian specializing in bariatric and weight loss nutrition. And my goal is to provide you with relevant nutritional strategies today, relevant nutritional equipment to help you stay on track or get back on track with your weight loss. So it's the holiday season. I feel like now's the time when people are like, oh my gosh, I need to get my act together and buy some gifts for my friends and family. And I put together a list of kind of like my top go-to gifts for the people that you love that are thinking about getting on track in the new year. These are the things that I use on a daily basis in my kitchen, in my life, um, that really help me to kind of stay on track. And the best part is they're super inexpensive. So I can't wait to share these for you to you. And I hope that you will be able to buy some of these for your friends and family. Now, you guys, I'm about to show you some of the best gift ideas ever. So I think you should use that share button, share it to your friends and family right now so they can watch along with you. So my very first and best kitchen um, gadget is this crazy meat chopper. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I use this thing all the time. I love to use ground beef in my recipes. I love to use ground chicken, ground turkey. But what I hate about e even like just regular chicken breast is like breaking up all the ground beef. You know, I've got a spatula and I'm constantly like chopping away. This little guy right here does all the work for you. Um, you can find these for as low as like $3. I know on Amazon, um, the one that is not out of stock, it's like 10 bucks. How cute would this be in your stocking stuffer for your favorite cook? The meat chopper. I don't really know what it's called, but that's what I call it, the meat chopper. So these are awesome. Um, to get for your loved ones. The next one that I feel like everybody should have is some kind of zoodle maker. This one is called the Vegetti. I know there's just something not right about that, but that's what it's called, the Vegetti. And this is um, gonna be found in your um, grocery store. You know how they have that section that's like as seen on TV? That's where you're gonna find the Vegetti. But what I love about a zoodle maker is I really like fresh zoodles. So what are zoodles? Zoodles are basically zucchini that we turn into noodles. And I love this particular one, A, because it's super inexpensive, it's under $10, um, and it has a thick setting and a thin setting. So the thick setting, I feel like gives you a really nice, hearty um, noodle. And I feel like the fresh zoodles taste so much better than the frozen. So if you've ever Try, if you only tried zoodles and you tried the frozen ones and you're like, eh, you definitely want to take a, try the, the fresh. And I'm here to tell you, making fresh zoodles and sauteing up zoodles takes a quarter of the time that it takes to boil your water, boil your pasta, and get that sucker ready. So this is another great gift to include, another great stocking stuffer. Something to give, if you've got like a white elephant or you have an office party, this sucker would be super great to use. How many people have the Vegetti and are using it? Give me a thumbs up if you really like this one because I really like it. There's some other ones. I have some other ones that are a little bit more complicated, like I have a big spiral one and I can never get it to work. And then I've got to clean all these parts. And so with this one, it's just super easy. My daughter, again, if you follow me on social media, you'll see she loves to make the zoodles. So quick and easy. So think about getting the Vegetti. Yes, you'll love that. Um, okay, so the next thing that um, I get lots of questions about from my clients is a food scale. And I love a good food scale. And this is the food scale that I use. It is the... Um, Oh gosh, I don't even know how you say it. It's E-T-E-K-C City. Um, but the good news is I'm going to link all of these products in the comments below. Um, so you'll be able to find them. So Lisa's like, where did you get it? I'm going to link it in the comments below, Lisa. Don't you worry. So I love this food scale. A, it's very inexpensive. 
super easy to use. Again, when you see me in my Insta stories and I'm weighing and measuring my food, this is what I'm using. It's really easy to zero. Um, it has different units, so you can do ounces, you can do mLs, you can do um, fluid ounces, and you can do grams. So if you're looking to kind of track your food in the most accurate manner in 2019, getting a food scale is gonna be super helpful. Um, and I try to make measuring and weighing your food so easy. It is by far, it is definitely not um, a mandatory thing to do, especially if you're doing um, one of my programs. Um, but it's definitely something that's super helpful. And I find that it creates what I call nutritional awareness. You know, I love that word, nutritional awareness. Um, but once you weigh and measure a cup of broccoli, three ounces of chicken, you know, four ounces of steak, if you do that a couple of times, it creates what I call visual aids. So you kind of have a better idea of what that food looks like. So weighing and measuring a little in the beginning can give you so much information in the long run. So I love this super inexpensive scale. Again, look, I'm pretty sure it'll fit in your um, stocking. So it's a great stocking stucker, stucker, stuffer. Um, it's also, again, a great gift for a coworker, a family member who has kind of got that mindset of I'm going to do better in 2019. So I love my food scale. Um, so think about getting that. Now, you know that I am the queen of, of meal prep. I, listen, those who fail to plan, plan to fail across the board. That is what's going to happen. Um, and I, it's the other thing that I really like to make as easy as possible for my clients um, is how to make meal planning and meal prep easier. So one of the things that I love are these simple um, Rubbermaid, they're called take-alongs. Um, you can buy them for $2.99 for a three-pack at Kroger's where I got them, but I'm gonna link, I'm gonna link them online for you as well. It's for so for those of you that can't find them, Kroger you can find that. But what I love about them, see how they're kind of divided out. So it's really easy to portion out like your protein. So this is gonna hold easily about three to four ounces, which is the perfect portion, and then throw all your veggies in here because what do we want to eat more of? Tons of veggies. So it's kind of like pre-prepped and pre-portioned for you. I love to make, oh, I love it. You guys think these are awesome. Yes, if you use these, give me a heart, give me a thumbs up, I wanna hear from you. But um, I will take these and I will prep my lunch for the week to come. So like, for example, I love to make chicken salad and tuna salad. So I'll put my tuna salad, chicken salad here, and then I'll put all my veggies here. And I'll go ahead and prep up like four or five of these, stick them in the refrigerator, so that me and my husband have them ready to grab in the morning. Because I do not have time first thing in the morning to be thinking about lunch, okay? I try to think about lunch on Sunday for the entire week. So they're just stacked up in my refrigerator and I just grab one and I'm out the door, I'm ready to go. So I'm on track, my husband's on track, $2.99. Guys, wrap these up, put them underneath the tree for your wife, I think she'll be excited about it, maybe. I don't know, but get her some diamonds too, like diamond earrings and some Tupperware. It's not even Tupperware, it's like rubber bait. So double duty. Now I cannot not talk about meal prep and not talk about mason jars, guys. I love to put everything in a mason jar. Um, and just like this, so these are great for like salads and leftovers and, and chicken and veggies and things like that. But your, your mason jars are amazing for chili, soup. You know, I love the mason jar salads. Same thing. I'll make a big batch. Actually, let me show you what I have right now. Um, so I will make a big batch of soup. I was in the wild, look at me, the wild time kitchen this week, and we were making up a whole bunch of soup. So here I've got soup ready to go. So I keep them in these mason jars and I put them in my refrigerator, and here's what I do. Obviously, when you make a big pot of soup, it's gonna fill up like three or four of these bad boys. So if I get through the week, like let's say I eat one or two and there's one left in the refrigerator, I'm not gonna throw it away. I make sure that I leave about an inch of space at the top, and I throw it in my freezer. These things freeze amazing. So I'm not gonna waste anything now, because I'm not gonna eat these, I'm gonna freeze them, I've got two lunches in the freezer waiting for me to pull them out at any time. So this is a great way, 
um, if you have mason jars. If you're gonna make a pot of soup, double it. Okay, triple it. Go ahead and fill up, you know, five, six, seven, eight of these. So you've got lunch. You could do a different one. You know, you make four pots of soup. You make eight of these. You could have a different soup every day for an entire month. Um, so these are really great to stock up on. Um, I do think that the heartier, like people always comment on me, um, yeah, they're glass. They're glass. So people always say, don't they shatter? Don't they break in the freezer? I have literally only had one break on me. And guess what? Like when it's frozen and it breaks, you just pull it out and you just throw it in the trash. Okay. It wasn't really, it's not like it, liquids go everywhere. It's frozen. Um, but I do feel like the one that did shattered was kind of like an off brand uh, of mason jars. I don't know. Maybe ball. So I stick with ball, you know, I, you can get a case of mason jars for like $10 wrap that up, put that under the tree, okay? I think that's gonna be a great present. Meal prep, like you've never seen it before. You don't need these expensive containers to, to make meal prep easy. You just need a little Rubbermaid and a little ball, mason jars. Okay, so I love, I love, love, love um, the meal prep ideas. All right, so my next thing is, you guys know, you know, I love intermittent fasting. I fast every day. Um, it's a strat nutritional strategy that I feel like my clients really love, but here's the issue. Sometimes people don't feel amazing in a fasted state. And a lot of times it ain't the fasting that's not making them feel amazing. It's the fact that their electrolytes are way off. So I love electrolyte water, like smart water should pay me. I don't know. Can I get an endorsement? Uh, Cause I recommend it so much, but basically like an electrolyte enhanced water, Life Water, Smart Water, Essentia. You will be amazed at how much better you feel when you're supplementing with some electrolytes. Now, here's the deal. I get a lot of clients and people that are like, Amanda, geez, buying all that electrolyte water is really expensive. Plus, the amount of like plastic bottles I go through is just breaking my heart. You know, I'm killing the environment. I have a replacement for you. Do not worry, okay? So I found these electrolyte drops, which they're, okay, so they're called Highlight. I found these electrolyte drops on Amazon and they're awesome. I keep them in my purse. It literally takes just basically like two or three tiny drops to get the same that I'm getting in this big bottle of water. So I can pretty much take any glass of water, whether it be from a water fountain, whether it be from my sink, and I can add electrolytes to it really quick and easy, super environmental friendly, completely flavorless, totally portable. So again, this would make a great stocking stuffer for anyone that needs a little electrolyte boost, um, is thinking about doing some intermittent fasting in the new year, because it's gonna make it so much easier. Um, and doesn't want to kind of spend all that money on all that water. So highlight again, I'm going to tag and link everything in the comments below so you can find them super easy. I will say the bottles change, so it doesn't look like this anymore. Um, so think about that. The other thing that I love, um, with regards to kind of like healthy eating and kind of improving your body is um, collagen protein. So you guys probably know about like the vitals. Look, it's like completely backwards. Um, but collagen peptides, this is a great source of protein. It's almost like Botox in a jar. Lisa, I drink smart water, yes. So you gotta try that, those electrolyte drops, Lisa. Um, but the collagen protein, this is like, um, they say like Botox in a jar. So as we get older, we lose collagen. We lose collagen like in our skin. We lose collagen in our joints. Um, we just lose collagen. And this is a great way to replace the collagen. I know for me, a couple of years back, I started using this product um, because I was lifting heavy in the gym and my knees were kind of giving out on me. Um, they were just kind of getting old. Oh, I don't like getting old. But I saw this, I saw an article about it I'm on the internet and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give it a go. Now I will say, if you're using it for joint health, it is not, it's not like, ooh, one dose, all, all of a sudden you're running a marathon, it doesn't work like that. Um, you do have to use it kind of consistently over time in order to see the results. But I will tell you, I saw a huge improvement 
and just the feeling in my knees, the flexibility, the pain that I felt when I was lifting. Um, and I attribute it to adding more collagen to my diet. So this is a great way to incorporate more collagen. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can use this. Again, I practice intermittent fasting, so I try not to use this in my fasting window. I like to use it in the middle of the day and like a cup of hot tea. Um, I'll put it in, um, I mean, really you can just put it in like some water. Um, I like to mix it in my protein shake. Um, I give this to my kids because it's completely flavorless. So my daughter, um, we've kind of got her on the like beef up plan because she's just a little scrawny peanut. So we're making this kind of like green smoothie every morning for her, um, which has some fruit and some spinach and um, we've got some MCT oil in it. And I add this because it's going to give her a little protein um, and it's going to give her some good collagen, which I mean, she's got beautiful collagen, but it will help her in the long run. So this is great to even incorporate, you know, um, with your entire family because it's flavorless. So you can use it in, in most any any product. So, woo, yes, this is a big one. Now, this one is not $10, okay? This one's not under $10. So, you're going to pay a little bit more for this Botox in a bottle, okay? But it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. So, think about getting the Vitals Protein. Okay, now, I know I don't know about you guys. Let's see here. Yes, to the Botox in a jar. Does it break your fast? So, it back to the collagen protein. Two scoops is um, 70 calories. So technically, in our realm, you know, of anything under 40 calories, um, it it has the potential to break your fast. Everybody's different. So I always tell people, if you're going to use it in the morning, kind of in your tea or coffee, try to stick to one scoop. That would be my suggestion um, with the uh, Vitals Protein. Okay. Now, I love um, macro management. I know 100% that obesity is related to carbohydrates and insulin response. Um, I don't know, did you guys catch me on Midday Kentucky this morning? Oh my gosh, <laughs> that ain't my gig, okay? I I, I, uh, I tried my best, I did my best. I'm, I should stick to my day job, right? I think you're right. But anyway, one of the things that we were talking about is how they rank the healthiest states. And guys, our obesity rate has increased 5% in the last year. That broke, I mean, it really broke my heart. Like, I could not believe that we had had that big of a jump. Like, we have got to do something, and we have got to do something now. And we've got to shift the tide, change the tide, whatever it is. Um, and it's all about carbohydrates. It's all about carbohydrates. It's all about glucose. It's all about um, insulin, you know, management. That's what it's all about. And so we work on that a lot in my lean program, the macro management. And, um, oh, sugar is so hard, guys. I love sugar. Like, I like sweets. Um, like, you can have all your bread. I know some of you love bread. You love your pasta. But me, I'm like a bag of Skittles. Bring me on the Skittles. So, and, and here's my thing. I don't believe that you can work with a client and say, don't eat sugar. Cut it out. I really, truly believe that in order for my clients to be successful, I have to show them alternatives. Because, yeah, I'm not going to eat sweets for four weeks. I can do that. But eventually, I'm going to need something sweet. And if I don't have a good alternative, then I'm going to be back to my Skittles. And so it's all about finding those alternatives. You know, they may not be perfect, okay, but they're better than Skittles for sure. So I love Lily's chocolate. If you've got a sweet tooth and you're trying to manage your carbohydrates and your sugars, you definitely want to ask for the Lily's chocolate in your stocking under your tree um, this season because this stuff is super low carb. It's made with stevia, which is a super yay, yay, yay. Um, better than artificial sweetener. Stevia is an all natural, non-caloric sweetener. And it has sugar alcohols, which, you know, sugar alcohols aren't perfect, but they are present in nature, okay? They are not a chemical component. So in my mind, it is a step in the right direction. So this entire bar of Lily's chocolate is only six net carbs. Woohoo! That's a huge win! That's a huge win. So they have all kinds of different um, chocolate bars. They've got, look, because I like, I've been eating these. They saved my life. I do just a couple of squares each night, and it's like all I need. 
to really like satisfy that sweet tooth. And I mean, really just a couple of squares is like one or two carbs, which is even better. Um, so these are awesome. Now here's the deal is they're not readily available. Like right now, you're not going to find them at Kroger. Um, right now, the only place I know that you can find them is on Amazon, which I'm going to link in the comments below because I've got your back. Um, or Whole Foods, you can find them. And guess what? Those of you baking, they even make chocolate chips. So there are so many ways that you can, you know, dial down the sugar factor in the foods that you love. These taste just like chocolate. You're going to love them. I love to mix this with like nuts and make my own trail mix, which is super low in carbs and so much better than the, like the trail mix with like M&Ms and things in them. Lily's chocolate, guys, put it on your list. Ask for it. Beg for it. You are not going to regret this choice. They're really good. So you want to do that. Okay. What else do I have? I did that. Um, okay. So I have, um, these great exercise, um, items that I love to add. Um, these are things that I'm going to be incorporating more in the workouts and my lean program in 2019. I'm really excited about them and it is sliders. Okay. So these little sliders, um, and it is these little bands. I mean, you don't need anything. This is all you need to do the most effective workout. And what I found is like the sliders and the bands are super awesome for beginners. So if you're just getting into exercise, I mean, and you do like 20 of these, if I do 20 of those, I'm going to feel them. There's so many exercises that you can do with these simple bands. I mean, I have a dress on or I would throw these, but you can do squats and you can do lunges and you can do, you know, art, you can do bicep curls. Let's see. Let me do some bicep curls. You maybe <laughs> some way you can do biceps curls, but the best part about it and the one that I'm going to link you gives you both of these. So you get the sliders and the bands all in one. And I, I swear, I think it's like $15. So cheap, so inexpensive the best stocking stuffer um, that you can buy your loved one. Um, and the best part about it is, is that when you purchase these online, the kit that I give you gives you like a big pamphlet with all the, the exercise and everything you need in to do it. So if you're looking to just attempt some resistance training, which is what it's about guys, because you know, I stress um, in my lean program that, that, that treadmill ain't going to get you to your goal. We have got to build lean muscle mass. Okay. We, and that's how we're going to build your metabolism. Oh, I remember how you do biceps. You put it on your foot and then you, oh, you curl it up, you curl it up. That's how you do the biceps. Um, but you've got to build lean muscle mass and just simply using something like a rubber band, these sliders are really good. Um, you know, you do all these movements with your feet and your hands. You can do like lunges, all kinds of things. So if you need a gem, this would be a good option for that. Okay, so my last, my last one is not a stocking stuffer. It is a um, luxury. It is a splurge. Um, but I get asked all the time what earphones I use. Um, and I use the Bose sports earphones and I've actually had them for, um, I want to say two years and they're amazing. They're my favorite. I think the best way to get your workout in is to be listening to some fabulous music because it will take you there. Um, and these are great. They're Bluetooth. So they sync right to your phone. I do my phone calls with them. I listen to music. I work out with them and they've been a really awesome buy. So again, um, definitely a splurge. These are over a hundred dollars, um, but they really hold up and they're really good. So I think that that's my, yes. Okay. That's my last item on my go-to holiday shopping guide. So you still have time. All of these, again, I'm going to link in the, in the comments below. Um, they're all going to be linked to Amazon, so you can you can have these shipped to your door in two days um, and get them under the tree for your loved ones. And I really think this is like a really good, almost kind of like starter pack. Um, these are a lot of the items that I recommend for my clients. So if you're already signed up for the January Lean program, you may want to grab these. If you're not already signed up for the January Lean session, there is no better gift than the gift of health and wellness. So 
let your friends know, let your family know that's what you want for Christmas this year. I still have tons of spots available and I wanna make sure that you get one. So I'm gonna put the link to the Lean program below. If you guys found this, um, this information beneficial, please, I would love it if you would use the share button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions about any of these products or how I use them, ask them in the comments below and I'll be happy to ask them, answer them for you. I hope you guys have an amazing, what is it, Thursday um, and a great holiday. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.